Hi, I'm Chris Ryan, one of the teaching professionals here at the Belfry. Uh, we're down at the PJ Golf Academy. I'm just going to go through a few, a few tips and a few pointers on with you for the takeaway. So how we initiate the golf swing. So how we initiate the golf swing isn't directly related to the impact, which is what causes the ball flight, but it's certainly got a big part to play in it. So what we often see is golfers making sort of poor takeaways. The initial move isn't quite right. That leads to uh, further problems and then the downswing becomes a bit of a recovery. Uh, and we get the sort of best result we can from there. So what we're going to do is going to go through a starting position. And what I want you to do is just take your normal address position. So just how you would. I've got a, a six iron here, but this applies to all the clubs in the bag. So just a normal starting position. And then what we can often see from here is the hands moving up and away, which often sends the club inside this way. We often see the club and the hands both working too much inside or we can get the one where both the club and the hands work too much away from the body. Now, all of these positions can cause problems later on in the golf swing and it makes it more difficult to make consistent contact and produce consistent ball flights. So what we're going to do, take a starting position and when you're in that position, I just want you to be aware of the contact between the inside of the arms and the chest. So the inside of the biceps and the chest here. And what I want to try and do is feel that my head maintains its position and I rotate my torso away from the golf ball, maintaining the pressure that I created at setter. Now what that should do is it should find this position here, okay? Now because my hands, my wrists, and my forearms haven't really done anything at this stage, it's actually fairly easy to get the club into the same position each time, okay? What we will find is if we do that incorrectly, so that the forearms get involved too soon, then suddenly the pressure's changed in here, or if we drag the club too much inside, again I've lost the pressure in his right arm here. Okay, so if we can start to focus in the takeaway on maintaining those pressure points, starting to feel that the hands are a lot more passive and the torso is doing most of the work, we should find that we can get the club into a good initial starting position. It's much easier then to set the club into a good position halfway back and obviously find a better top of the back swing position. So if we can start to make our takeaway more consistent, we start to get the club moving on the right path, the right plane early on, it's going to give us a much better chance of getting the right contact and producing a more repeatable ball flight. Okay? So give those tips a go and hopefully you'll see an improvement.